He's caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide pets, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. Shallow backwater areas like this one here are the formula for success even in today's high pressured world. It takes a skinny water boat, but with that I'm going to take you to some of my favorite backwater haunts and a look underwater is going to show you just why there's so many bass living there. Beyond just being remote and private, one of the things that separates these places and makes one good over another is the fact that there's a lot of different kinds of cover underwater. You'll remember us saying that variety is very important when it comes to supporting a good bass population because it supports a broad forage base. That includes shiners, shad, silver sides, and many other types of bait fish. A large school of shiners like this actually move from place to place and all the bass have to do is sit and cover and wait for them to come by. To find the bass, all we have to do is venture back under the shade and in some of the overhangs in shallow water. Remember a place like this is a shallow water environment with virtually no access to deep water nearby. That doesn't mean that bass can't live here year round. The only exception would be in the far northern climes when such water might freeze all the way to the bottom. One of the advantages bass have in an area like this is that it's small and they can learn the area. Territoriality is a very positive thing in nature, which is why it's so prevalent among so many predators. It basically allows the animal to learn the lay of the land where he hunts, and this is a tremendous advantage in catching food. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend.